Hey folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2021 Coleman Lantern 285BH. And this for me is one of my favorite bunk model travel trailer layouts, and for good reason, right? You get the big super slide where we have the dinette and the sofa. Very comfortable, you'll see in a second these actually recline, and that is directly across the TV where we want it. Plus we get huge pantry space and double over double rear corner bunks. This one just checks so many boxes when it comes to family floor plans. And one of those that it has to check is right here, folks, and that's gonna be the kitchen. And if you take a look at the kitchen, you will see you get upgraded countertops, right? You don't have the T-mold of old, right? Where it, right here it's popping off and all of a sudden water gets down in there and it starts rotting out your countertop and you don't like the way it looks. Nope, done. So right here we get the pressed countertop again, definitely upgraded, and it allows us to undermount the stainless steel bowl, which we, you will see is an apron front, and I love that look. I think it definitely adds a lot to the RV. High-rise faucet here, backsplash, or side splash rather, and I like when manufacturers do that too, when they go all the way around. Now, I wish they would have went around over here where the cooktop is, because for me, that would have just made sense. But aesthetically speaking, it does look nice over here. You will also see that you have your electrical outlet and USB ports right there. LED lights uh, running along the underside of the cabinets as well as on the ceiling, really helping to bright up, brighten up this kitchen space, which I love. You have the frosted glass and good storage, right? I'll open that up just to kind of show you an idea. You can see that goes all the way back there. So good storage space up top. Microwave there, right underneath is our hood with both a light and a fan. Now, before we drop down and finish the kitchen, I do want to point to something on the ceiling, something of note. That's the fact they do use the Blade AC system in here, folks, and that's a pretty big deal. That AC system is about 30 to 35% quieter than a lot of the other systems out there. It's like as, qu as quiet as the quiet cool that has been used in a lot of the higher end fifth wheels, and that's phenomenal. Plus, it does a better job. You get more even cooling and actually has more uh, force coming out of the vents than a lot of the other systems out there. So definitely a big plus for this price point. Now, when we drop down here, again, that, that three burner cooktop, that is recessed with the glass cover, so you get that as prep space. The knobs here light up on the gray stone unit whether you want that or not uh, no big deal but you do have to hit the button in order to get the light on the oven but you will see the oven uh, is a decent size again nothing huge but it definitely does the trick right underneath the oven though look at that you have big storage for pots and pans I love that as well as an access panel back there plus enough space underneath the sink for a trash can. That's a big one for me. That's something that Coleman does a really, really good job of, is anywhere they can, they try to make sure in, in their floor plans that there is a spot in the kitchen for a trash can. And that's a big one for me because I don't want my trash can just hanging out. It's gross. You also see here you have two full extension ball bearing drawers, that bottom one being a little bit deeper too for some of your bigger items, but that gives you a spot for not just, again, your flatware, but your larger utensils, right? Your spoons, spatulas, uh, larger knives, anything else you may need. When we open this one up, you'll see the GE 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So this is becoming more and more popular. Now, whether or not this refrigerator stays, I, I'm not sure. I've seen some manufacturers when, when there was a big shortage on the gas electric, a lot of them went to 12 volts. Some of them are starting to go back. Um, so, you know, for now there is a 12 volt in there, whether that stays or not, we will see, but I do like the 12 volt personally, just because you can run uh, this with two batteries and then have solar and basically run that thing nearly indefinitely, which is, pretty fantastic if you like to boondock. If you don't, it doesn't matter either way. If you're plugging in, it doesn't matter if it's this one or a different one, you're good. Uh, you'll see right there, so that is where your TV will mount. That is directly across from that seating space, as I mentioned, and that's a big one. That's pretty tough to do in a lot of floor plans where you have bunks, right? And if we take a look at the seating, so this right here I absolutely love, folks. Look at that, right? You have an incliner on both sides. This just pops up, gives you a place to put your feet. You have the same thing on the other side there. Uh, and this is what I want. I'm right across from the TV. I can kick back. I can relax. I love, absolutely love they put this in here. This is something that a lot of manufacturers aren't currently doing. And I think that was a very smart move on Coleman's behalf. You'll also see, take a look at that. You don't lose any storage, right? You still have all that storage that uh, the jackknife sofas are so well known for. And that does drop down. So you have that as additional sleeping space as well as the dinette. 
you, you know, you can see that right over to the side. You have that dinette that drops down to sleeping space as well. Now, uh, actually, you know what? Let me hit this first. As we drop down underneath that entertainment center, right there is your multimedia center with HDMI input on the front and a fireplace, which not only looks great, but that is a big space heater, folks. And if you're plugged into shore power, boom, that thing's kicking out some heat right across the way, right to you with your feet up, relaxing, enjoying, hanging out. It's a good place to be. Then oh, take a look at this. This is something else I love that they did. You have huge pantry space in here. I mean, massive. You have a spot to hang up jackets if you want. You have a ton of shelving. You have all the space up front where if you need to bring like a Swiffer, a vacuum, a broom, you know, maybe you want another trash can in here, a bigger trash can, whatever it may be, you have a ton of space in there. So I love uh, the extra storage. Of course, our entry door right over to the side, main control panel there. I uh, do have a light right up above us here. The thing I like about this is that this light, you know, as you can see, you can just leave this one on if you want, turn the rest of them off, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then over to the side is our double over double bunks, 300 pound weight capacity on there. So you can be an adult and still lay in here. I mean, you know, I'm 200 pounds and take a look at me. Ah, six foot tall. There we go, folks. I am snoozing. I am done. Good to go. Um, but the cool thing about that is, you know, as your kids get older, if they're teenagers or maybe they just don't go anymore, but you have friends that want to, you know, that are coming out to visit you, you have a place they can sleep. Ladder makes it a little bit easier to climb up into the top. If you're an adult, it's still a tough climb. It's still, I don't know about you, but after about uh, four or five beers, climbing a ladder is a little tough for me. I'm taking the bottom bunk. But one of the things I do like though is the fact that you'll see both top and bottom bunks have not only have a light but also a USB port. And that's important for both kids and adults alike because it gives you a spot to plug in your cell phones or tablets and charge them. Take a look at this. You also have hidden storage. Boom! Right underneath that bunk. I love that. You want a good spot to put some extra clothes or maybe a dirty clothes basket. That right there is an excellent spot for it. Coming into the bathroom, good countertop space here. I'll take a seat on the toilet. Plenty of room for my legs, you know, my shoulders, no issues at all. A little bit of storage underneath the sink, mirrored medicine cabinet there, robe hook, got to have a place to, uh, I mean, I, I don't, you take a robe camping, but I'd put my towels there. And as far as the shower, folks, again, I'm six foot tall. You can see I can fully stand up in here, can spin around, do my shower thing, got the hand wand making life a little bit easier. Uh, honestly, if I'm showering, I'm probably standing this way more often than not, right? Turning, I mean, you can see that my, my arm is going to be right up in that curtain, and I just don't love that feeling, and that's pretty common for a lot of showers this size. So chances are the way I'm showering, folks, is I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to take that hand wand, and I'm going to use that to do all my business, shower up, get nice and clean. And again, you know, with a little bit smaller water heaters, like oftentimes you have in most RVs, you're not going to be, you know, taking a, a half hour shower or anything like that. Moving over to this side, you can see you have another uh, spot to hang up clothes. And I love this because a lot of times in bunk models, you just don't have space to put the kids clothes and that's not functional. It doesn't make sense. But here you get the big hanging rod there. So you have a spot to hang them. Plus plenty of drawers running all the way down for their undies, their socks, the pants, everything else you need there. Uh, we talked about that awesome sofa. We talked about the dinette here. And again, as I mentioned, that does drop down into a smaller sleeping space. Then as we make our way up into the bedroom, a couple things I do want to point out here. Um, one is the fact that you have the queen size bed. You have nightstands on both sides with the drawers, electrical outlet, USB ports. You can see you have mirrored wardrobes to hang your clothes up. And right there is a spot to put the TV in case you want a TV at night. Last thing I want to show you before I head outside, we're just in the bedroom and you saw there was that secondary entrance there and why is it important? Well, one, if you have people out here and you want to, you know, they're sleeping or whatever, they're sleeping in the bunks, you want to use that exit and entrance, you can. But also you can see that when the slide is in, if you're in travel and need to pull over, that is going to be blocked off, but you have that other entrance. So if you need to get in there, lay down and take a nap, you can do so. Also, you will see, boom, look at that, full access to the refrigerator with the slide in, obviously as well as the freezer. And if we spin around to the other side here, you can also see that you have no hindrance getting into the bathroom either. So as we come out of the main entrance here on the 2021 Coleman Lantern 285BH, you can see one of my favorite parts about having a bunk model, folks, and that is the outside kitchen. Now, you have the two burner cooktop out here, which is perfect for breakfast, right? Cooking some eggs, some bacon right outside, and you will see the outside fridge. And this is my favorite part, so I want to put the beverages, you know, whether it's uh, juice for the kiddos or something for myself, either way, it is all good there. You also see storage space up here, and there's an electrical outlet. So if you have anything else you need to plug in, electric griddle, something like that, you can. 
Now, if you drop down underneath, you will see the propane quick connect. That is intended to be for this two burner cooktop, but here's the thing, folks. If you have like a separate grill or something, your favorite grill, you wanna hook it up to there, by all means do so. You'll be good to go grilling and chilling, rocking and rolling in the campground. Uh, as I mentioned, this one does have the two entrances. We'll see the front one in just a moment here. You also see the large power awning that does have the LED light strip on there, and that's 12 volt. So all you have to do is just flip the rocker switch, and that, of course, will extend as well as uh, go right back in. You have a couple speakers on the outside, too, that are connected to your multimedia center that we saw inside. Square tubular bumper on the back. You want to throw your sewer hose in there, you can. You will also see uh, backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, that's a place it'll be installed. Having that prep means it's already pre-wired, so it'll save you a lot of money on the installation side. Uh, termination will be located right back here. That is one of two terminations. You can see both your black and gray tank. We'll see the second one, and we go a little ways up front here. 30 amp power supply tucked away right in there. Just pull it out, plug it in. That gives you shore power. Black tank flush is a great feature to have because you can just plug a hose in right there. It washes out your black tank rather than having to stick a hose down your toilet. And I do recommend doing that every time you're done camping using that black tank flush. Uh, your second gr uh, gray tank termination will be located right there. And lastly, your pass-through storage. If you come around right up here, uh, I do want to show you this. You can see that you have this little convenience center. So you have cable inlet, electric, city water connection, and water access. So just use this guy right here. You can see it has like a little uh, um, garden hose attachment built right on the end. Makes it super simple. Coming around up front, uh, power tongue jack does come standard on this one, so it's easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle, as well as two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Now, if you take a look right behind your rails here for your battery, you can see this one is prepped for solar. So all I have to do is buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Last thing I want to touch on, folks, is this right here, power stabilizer jacks. You will see this one has the uh, power stabilizer jacks, makes it nice and easy, so that way you don't have to manually crank those up and down. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2021 Coleman Lantern 285BH. If you're interested in this amazing family RV and you want price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for joining me, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.